Hello nurses and hello top notchers! Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to our online lecture in Community Health Nursing. So our topic for today is all about our three public health care functions in public health nursing. Okay? Meron po tayo ditong three public health care functions like your assessment, policy development, and your assurance. So let's begin our topic with your assessment function of a public health nurse. Under your assessment function of a public health nurse, it monitors the environmental and the health status to identify and to solve the community environmental health problems. So take note, ang ginagawa po ng isang public health nurse under your assessment function is to monitor the environmental and the health status of the community. And aside sa monitoring ng ating environmental and health status of the community, the nurse here also diagnose and investigate environmental health problems and health hazard present in the community. Again, so under your assessment function of a public health nurse, the nurse here monitors the environmental and the health status of the community and tries to solve that environmental health problem of the community. And aside sa ating monitoring na sinabi natin, it also diagnoses and investigates your environmental health problems and health hazards present in the community. So again, so pag sinabi po nating assessment, more on collecting and monitoring po ang ginagawa ng ating public health nurse dito sa ating assessment function. So, para mas madali po natin siyang tandaan at para mas madali po siyang maintindihan, pag sinabi po natin assessment function in your public health care function, assessment is the systematic data collecting about the population and monitoring of the population health status and making information available about the health of the community. Again, so pag sinabi po natin assessment, alam po naman natin yan na that is a method of data collection. So, more on data collection po ang ginagawa natin dito and monitoring of the population health status. So, that is your assessment function of a public health nurse. Then next, number two core public health function of a public health nurse is the policy development. Pag sinabi naman po natin policy development, policy development is to inform, to educate, and to empower people about environmental health issues. Again, so inform, educate, and empower people about environmental health issues. And number two, it mobilizes community partnership and actions to identify and to solve environmental health problems. And number three, it develops policies and plans that supports the individual and community environmental health efforts. Again, for uh, policy development, we have inform, educate, and empower people, mobilizes community partnership and actions, and develop policies and plans to support individual and community environmental health efforts. So, yan po ang tatandaan natin pagdating kay policy development core public health function. So, take note, pag sinabi po natin policy development, it refers to the need to provide leadership in developing health policies. Kasi pag sinabi natin policy development, nandiyan yung to inform, to empower, and to educate your community people about your environmental health issues, and nagde-develop po sila ng plans and policies. Okay? So, that is your policy development. Then next, number three public health care function is your assurance. Pag sinabi naman po nating assurance, assurance enforces laws and regulation that protects environmental health and ensures safety of the community people. Okay, So it enforces the law and it enforces regulations. So that is your assurance. The next, number two, it links people to needed environmental health services and it assures the provision of environmental health services. Okay, so it assures the provision of environmental health services. Okay, so ine-ensure niya yung ating provision ng environmental health services na ito'y nakakaabot sa mga community people. And under your assurance, assurance also assures a competent environmental health workforce. Okay, tandaan niyo po yan, it assures a competent workforce. And aside from assuring a competent workforce, it also evaluates the effectiveness and accessibility and quality of a personal and population-based environmental health services. So, sinisigurado din po niya na effective at accessible po and quality po yung ating health services na natatanggap. And also, last is research. So, it researches also for new insights and innovative solutions to environmental health problems. So, pag-research, nasa, nasa assurance na po yung ating core public health function. Again, so pag sinabi po natin core public health function, it ensures a competent workforce, it evaluates the effectiveness, accessibility, and quality of health services, and uh, it conducts research for new insights and innovative solutions to environmental health 
problem. So, yan po yung mga ibang function ng ating public health nurse under your assurance core public health functions. Okay? So, itry po natin magsagot ng mga common board questions related po sa ating mga public health core functions. Okay? So, common board question number one. The ethical question, are persons assigned to develop community knowledge and adequately prepared to collect data on groups and populations? is based on your ethical tenet that supports the community-oriented core function of A. Assessment B. Assurance C. Policy Development or D. Compliance So, ang tanong dito is Are persons assigned to develop community knowledge adequately prepared to collect data on groups and populations? Okay? So, take note, meron tayo dito ang collection of data in your groups and population, okay? So, take note, eliminate na agad dito yung letter D kasi wala po tayong pinag-usapan na compliance as a public health core function. So, A, B, C na lang ang ating pagpipilian dito. So, alin dito yung ating sagot kung meron ka nakitang collect data on groups and population? The correct answer here is letter A. Assessment po ang sagot natin dyan kasi if we say assessment, it is the systematic data collection and monitoring of your health status in the Community. So, letter A ang sagot natin dito sa ating common board question number 1. Okay, the next, common board question number 2. Collecting data and monitoring the health status of the population defines which of the core public health functions? A. Quality assurance B. Assessment C. Policy development or D. Health promotion Again, so sa ating question number 2 Eliminated na po agad yung ating health promotion Kasi wala po tayong sinabing health promotion As a public health core function So A, B, or C na lang ulit ang ating pagpipilian So ang keyword natin dito sa ating common board question number 2 Is the collecting data and monitoring the health status of the population So sabi natin kanina Kapag merong systematic data collection and monitoring of your health status The answer here is your assessment. So, letter B is the correct answer here. Kasi pag sinabi po naman nating assurance, assurance is making sure that essential services are available or making sure a competent healthcare workforce is available. So, yun naman po yung ating quality assurance. At pag sinabi naman nating policy development, it is needed to provide leadership in developing plans and policies. Okay? So, again, in collecting data and monitoring the health status of the population, the correct answer here is assessment. So, letter B is the correct answer. Then, next, for common board question number three, making sure that essential community-oriented health services are available defines which of the core public health function? A. Policy development B. Assessment C. Assurance or D. Scientific knowledge-based care Okay, so eliminated agad yung letter D kasi wala po tayong pinag-usapan na ganyang core public health function So, keyword, making sure that essential community-oriented health services are available So, ine-ensure mo na yung ating health services ay available That is assurance, okay? So, letter C is the correct answer naman for your question number 3 Kasi ine-ensure mo yung ating health services availability. So, letter C, assurance po ang sagot natin dito. The next, common board question number four, the nurse who compares the rate of teenage pregnancy in various areas of the city is practicing the public health core function of A. Assurance B. Assessment C. Prevention or D. Policy Development. Again, so ang ginagawa ng nurse, nagko-compare ng rate of teenage pregnancy. So, ibig sabihin yan, meron tayo ditong data. Okay, so minomonitor mo yung ating health status. So, the correct answer here is letter B. Assessment po ang sagot natin sa ating common board question number 4. Kasi sabi nga natin kapag assessment function, it is the systematic data collection and monitoring of health status of the Community. So, pag kinocompare mo yung rate of teenage pregnancy, you are monitoring the health status in your community. So, the correct answer here is letter B, assessment. Then next, common board question number five, public health nurses who develop and implement local public health policies through partnership with agencies, organizations, and consumers within the community are using which core public health function? A, assessment. B. Prevention C. Assurance or D. Policy Development Again, keyword in our common board question number 5 The development and implementation of local public health policies Okay, so gumagawa sila ng public health policies So that is a policy development So the correct answer here is letter D 
policy development po ang sagot natin kasi pag sinabi natin policy development, it is needed to provide leadership in developing policy. So, letter D is the correct answer for our common board question number 5. Okay, the next common board question number 6, providing for the availability of essential personal health services for people who would otherwise not receive healthcare defines which public health core function? A. Assessment B. Prevention C. Assurance or D. Policy Development Again, keyword in our common board question number 6 is the word providing for the availability of your essential personal health services for the people. So, pag ine-ensure mo na meron tayong available health services for the people, that is also under your assurance function of your public health nurse. So, the correct answer here is letter C. Assurance po ang sagot natin sa ating common board question number 6. Kasi nga, it deals with availability of your health services. So, letter C, assurance po yan. Then, last common board question is question number 7. The nurse manager who makes sure that the staff members who work in local clinic are competent is demonstrating the public health care function of A. Assurance, B. Assessment, C. Prevention, or D. Policy Development. So take note, remove agad yung ating prevention, eliminate agad yan kasi wala po tayong prevention as a public health care function. Mali po ating letter C. Okay, so the correct answer here again is letter A. A. Assurance. Why? Kasi ine-ensure ng ating nurse manager na competent daw yung ating workforce. So, ensuring a competent healthcare workforce is under your assurance function in public health care function. So, letter A is the correct answer for question number 7. So, yan po yung ating 3 public health care functions in your public health nursing. So, lumalabas po yan sa board exam. So, i-take note nyo po yung ating mga questions and yung tamang sagot para pag na-encounter nyo po yan sa inyong actual board exam, alam nyo na po ang tamang sagot. Okay? So, these are the three public health care functions. We have your assessment, policy development, and your assurance. Okay?